welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Kate of Kate Only of Recruitment Coaching. Today's video is actually a request I had from somebody recently. It's a brilliant subject and very important and topical at the moment, which is how to get referrals from your clients and your candidates. I'm gonna cover this off in two ways. So I'm gonna talk about how to do it with prospective or new clients and prospective or new candidates. And then I'm gonna go on to, with your existing network, how to do it as well. Because there's two different ways you can go about it. So I'll cover off in terms of the new side of things, candidates first. I would advise you when you're speaking to a candidate for the first time to ask it at the end of the call. The reason for that is, you have had the chance then to build up a certain level of trust and a relationship with the candidate. If you ask it too early on, you're less likely to have somebody give you that information. If you get to the end of the call, you've been helpful, you've listened to them, you've had a lovely chat, they like you, they're much more likely to offer up that information. So at the end of the call, it's saying something as simple as, as I've told you, we do a lot of work in this area and we help a lot of people go into X type of role. Who do you know that's also looking for a position in this industry at the moment? It could be that you've sold them a job that they're not interested in. So it could be, well, who do you know that may be interested in this job? Remember, if you've told them about some roles that they are very interested in, to ask them who they also know for those jobs is a bit risky. Because let's be honest, who is gonna recommend a mate or someone they know for a job they really want? They don't wanna be up against any competition. So I would then keep it general and just say that you are really keen to help other people in this industry. Who can they recommend or who do they know that you can help? On the client side, I'm a big preacher of business development calls. Getting referrals is much easier to do over the phone, so I'm gonna base it on that. If you've had a great chat with a prospective client, they may have given you jobs, they may have not. Again, I would leave it till the end of the call because you've had the chance to build up the trust and relationship. So it could be something like, thanks so much for having a chat with me today about the recruitment in your team. Who else would you recommend I should speak to regarding recruitment in this company? or apart from you, who else is responsible for recruitment in your team? Something along those lines is great. Now on both points, candidate and client, if that person gives you a name, try and get their number, their email address. Obviously you're gonna go and add them on LinkedIn, but try and get that information out of them. So what's the best number to reach them on? What's the best email to get them on? If they don't wanna give you either, ask, you know, how would you feel about putting me in touch with them and passing on my number. You're trying to get that referral into that person so it's a nice warm introduction. But yeah, if you can get their contact details, fantastic, because you can jump on that straight away. Now, if it's in your existing network, I used to do this a lot where I was struggling to fill a job and what I would do is I'd have certain candidates that I had a very, very good relationship with, but I also knew they had a good network in the industry. And I would ring them for a catch up check what else they had going on, were they still looking? But I would then also say, look, I've got this role at the moment that I know you're not gonna be interested in because it's not in your location, but I wondered who you knew that could be good for it, and then I'd tell them a little bit about it. Not always did they know people, but sometimes they did, and it was great to get referrals from them that I knew I could trust as well. Sometimes I would ring previous placements I'd made as well because they also had a good network of people and they knew what I could do. They knew I was a good recruiter, so they were quite happy to pass me names. In terms of on the client side, some of the companies you will end up working with will be quite large. And once you've started placing with some of those managers, it might then be worth saying, look, I'm obviously doing a great job within your team. Our agency works in X, Y, and Z areas. Who else should I be speaking to in the business? Who can you put me in touch with? Who else is recruiting in the business at the moment that I need to speak to? And that goes for new client conversations as well. That just came to mind then. So I've whizzed through this subject pretty quickly. If some of this isn't making sense or you want some help with your confidence around this or just some more information, please feel free to get in touch. We can have a chat. All my details are listed below. But as usual, please subscribe to the channel. You'll get notifications when I release new video content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.